Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me today. Um, this video is going to be on how to send an email using a flow from, uh, from a record page. So uh, uh, a year back I did a video on how to send an email to a contact role from an opportunity and I used an auto launched flow. That's a type of flow, auto launched flow. And um, this was being launched by a process builder on some um, attributes being set. And then the possibility would then launch the flow and send an email. But um, I had a question on how, how can we use the same flow uh, or similar flow to use actually a button which the user can launch and send an email to the contacts. So first of all, um, let me open this flow that I already built. And if you want to check out how I build, this, uh, build that flow, please check out the other video that I have. Um, but I'm going to quickly walk you through on what's there and this is an auto launch flow which is why we don't see any screen element on the interaction um, and basically what this is doing is looking up all the contact roles from the opportunity so it's querying on all the contact roles and then um, it's getting the contact ID and querying the actual contact record from that contact ID and getting the email from there and then we are making a decision saying that hey if the email is not empty then send an email and this is a standard uh, flow action call email alert and then we are sending an email um, pretty straightforward um, now if you want to use the same flow or if you want to use this from a button then it needs to be a screen element or a screen type of flow um, and, and I specifically I'm talking about it when you're in lightning and if you want to use a lightning flow type of action um, so first of all we need to save this not as a new version but as a new flow because we want to save it as a screen flow and we're going to say send email to our contact row from page and then save it. So the first thing we want to do is uh, use the screen because when the user clicks on button you want to have some kind of interactivity. Maybe um, what I would think is we'd want to have like a checkbox and ask if, are you sure you want to send this, uh, not checkbox, uh, a radio button. So if I go to a radio button, it could be anything. Uh, it really depends on uh, your requirement, but I'm going to use a radio button and I'm going to say, are you sure you want to send an email? And the data type, since it's ready, would be Boolean and then we're going to create some choices since we don't have any so add choice and uh, a choice type resource type um, let's say yes and uh, it could be just yes that's a label and the data type is boolean and we're going to say yes equal to true and this is a standard global constant hit done and let's add one more create another resource called and this is a also choice no label is also no that's the API name and data type is boolean here and we're saying it's false that's the global constant hit done and since it didn't automatically populate it we're gonna do that yes and another choice is no so see how that, that appears that's the label yes and no you could say whatever you want here and um, I already have the let's give it a name send email confirmation screen um, and if you want you can hide this header to make it cleaner and hit done okay so this can uh, stay anywhere on the page uh, this will be the first thing that the user will see but you can connect it any way you like so I'm just going to connect it to here uh, but the decision one so now the decision is also checking for that screen answer so if you said no you don't want the email going out so we're gonna say confirmation not that one the question that we had on the screen called are you sure you want to send an email equals yes that was the answer 
So if, if the user selected yes, it should send an email is what we're trying to do here. And hit done. Okay, so email confirmation and it looks up all the contact roles, contact and finally lands on the decision and sends an email. That's pretty much all we need to do. Um, another thing I also want to point out is whenever you're using an action, uh, a, a flow action on a page, you want to make sure that the flow is getting that record ID. So let's say if I'm an opportunity page and how does the flow know which ID you want to use without having to query that multiple times. So this ID is directly available on flow, but you will need to use a value called, it should be named as record type and it won't uh, understand anything. Um, if you put anything other than record type, it won't have that value. So it has to be the API name record ID and data type is text, which is ID and available for input because we're taking that value from the page. Hit done. And now let's also populate that record ID. And that's, uh, that's all on this one. So it's just opportunity ID we're saying equals record ID. That's by default gets that ID value. Hit save. And you, you need to have lightning enabled. Um, it doesn't work in classic. The section of the flow starting an email is never used. Okay, so that should do it. So we're starting with the email screen confirmation. Now let's save it. Always uh, read your warnings because they're very useful. And now we can debug it just to make sure it works well. And we're gonna provide this opportunity ID on here. That's the record ID. Are you sure you want to send an email? Yes. Next. And here, the decision was true. All conditions must be true. And it did go to the other one, uh, meaning I should have received an email. Refresh it. And it's 3.33. Let's uh, confirm. And there you go. So. It's a random email that I used, but it could be anything in your case. Um, so that's the email I just got at 333. So that means we're fine. Um, let me quickly also show you how to actually set that up on an opportunity. So if you go to opportunity object uh, setup, so edit object. Here, um, you will create a lightning action, not a URL type button because it's a lot easier. You don't have to remember or worry about passing parameters like we had to in classic and you can just directly use the lightning action flow type of action. So when it loads, um, we go to button links and action and you need to create a light new action, not the new button. So new action and here you have an option to select from action type is flow. So that's all. And it will, it will actually display all the flows that, that are screen type that you can use here. So I think this is the one we just created. And label, send email, and save it. And then you add it to the page layout. In my case, I already had added one email contact. And this is how it's gonna look like. If you, are, if you have lightning um, runtime enabled, hit yes and click next and it should send an email. And uh, while, while you're testing, also make sure that one of your contact uh, role is primary and has a valid email ID. Otherwise, you will not get an email. I, I had it happened to me once. <laughs> all right, um, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you find this helpful or if you have any other questions um, or any other scenarios that you want to use Flow for, reach, me out, reach out to me. Thank you so much.